Welcome back. Thank you for watching my video. Today I am in Shirakawago, famous for its houses with roofs that are shaped like prayer hands and aren't they absolutely amazing. So I cannot wait to show you around. This is any photographer's dream. So I am very excited to go and have a little wander. If you're curious how I got here, I took a bus from Takayama over here and it took me about an hour on it. It's on the route to Kanazawa so if you're traveling on that's also a very easy stop to kind of have a little look around and it was very pleasant so I'm ready now to go and explore this amazing place and show you around a little bit and as always I would love to hear from you what you are thinking about Shirakawa Go and if you like this video then please like this and subscribe and with this let's go and explore so the beauty about Jirakawa Go is not just that it has these amazing buildings, the Gasho style houses, but what's amazing is that the people are really still living here. So Jirakawa Go has about 1,600 people currently living in the village and most of these houses are shops or restaurants or just where people have their homes. So it is really an interesting place to visit and discover. As you walk around a little bit, there is just too many things to see. And the best part, this place is small enough so you can really check out all the hidden streets and alleyways and find a few treasures or two. And now I'm just walking on the suspension bridge and it's really cool. It's a bit icy and slippery so I have to hold on to but you can see the nice view here in the back. And it's really cool to walk. It wobbles which is a bit weird um, so especially with the snow make sure you have good shoes so you don't slip and fall over and let's keep moving to the other side and see what is there. Now I got a combination ticket and I'm gonna also check out Minka N, an open air park and I'm very excited to go in so let's have a look at this now. And as you can see here we get to see more of these beautiful houses but let me tell you about that combination ticket because a round trip from Takayama will cost you about 4,600 yen. However, I got a combination ticket that includes this open air museum for 4,800 yen, so it's a real bargain. I have the link down in the info for you. So it's quite strange. Most people are not coming into this place. Um, it's nice for me because it means I have it almost to myself, so yay! Um, let's walk around a little bit and check out these beautiful buildings and then grab some soba noodles for lunch and see what else we can find as we're doing a little gander around this place. So let's go! Yes, and the coolest part really is you can go inside these houses and check out the traditional crafts like the silkworms or how to make the baskets and the weaving. So it's really interesting and educational. The only thing is you always have to take off your shoes. So in winter, this can be a little bit on the annoying side. Uh, my feet are quite cold, but anyway, we'll go inside, have a look and then just explore a little bit more. So come with me and let's go. And what impressed me the most is to see all the tools and being able to imagine how people actually lived two, three hundred years ago. Also, these photographs I thought were absolutely amazing because you really get a feel of what life here in Shirakawa Go 
is or was all about. So it's just an amazing experience. And moving on, we go to another place and this one is a bit special, but first, as with all the others, shoes have to come off and in we go. Now, as you can see, this is a tea house and the kettle is on the hearth and I must say, it is rather smoky in here. So I just came into this resting place and I'm so happy I did because it's so beautiful. Now, I just got my soup, like a red bean soup with a mochi inside. It's a sweet dish and it's perfect to warm you up. And I also got a tea for free, which is amazing. So I can refill it as many times as I want. And let's just try this now because I can't wait to get warm. Mm. Mm. Very good. I love this because red beans are not too sweet. And in winter, it's just the perfect thing to have. So if you come here, then please visit this place. It's amazing. Although I might smell like a piece of bacon when I come out, but I think I can just about handle this. So let me continue eating and then I will go back out and explore a little bit more. So, and one thing Shirakawa Go is also famous is for its soba noodles. And I just went to this lovely restaurant, a little bit off the beaten track. So it's my secret hidden tip. I put the link in the info. I couldn't make a video inside because it was fairly busy and I didn't want to disturb the other people. But here you can kind of see what it looks inside. You see it's super pretty and it has a lovely view on the scenery through the big open glass window. The staff is so friendly. I actually couldn't get over it. They were really, really nice to me. And then the sofa itself. I mean, look at it. This is exceptional and it was so tasty. I added the special mountain vegetables and this is another tip for me. Do that if you come here because that just makes this so much better. Now that I have finished my food, let's go for another walk and then it's almost time to say goodbye. Now I'm walking up to the sightseeing spot and yeah, it's a little bit of a trek, but I think it's going to be worth it. And we are nearly there. You can see because there is already a small group gathering and they're all equipped with their cameras. And you can see why, because how stunning is this view? This was definitely worth the climb. So let's enjoy. So this was my day trip to Shirakawa Go from Takayama and I hope you enjoyed. I really thought it was the most beautiful and I'd love to come back here in summer. And I think in other seasons, especially in autumn or in spring, this must be absolutely beautiful. So this is definitely worth coming in any season, if you ask me. Now, there were a few places I didn't go to, like here behind me, the Wada house, a traditional house, and you can also learn more about the culture. But because I went to the open air museum, I kind of had this already included. So I decided to skip these houses as they would cost extra entrance. Nevertheless, I do think they are worth going to see. And I'll have a few links in the bottom so you can check them out as well. And with this, I'm going to head off to the bus and I hope to see you in my next video. I'd love to hear from you. I'd like to know what you're thinking. Please leave me a comment. I love to read them. And if you like this, then please like this and hit that button and subscribe. I am looking forward to seeing you in my next video. And until then, have a great time and I see you soon. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye.